with Jahan. What were you seeing on those big plays that sort of allowed you to get three there? Yeah, uh, I pretty much had one-on-one -on -one coverage pretty much all game. Uh, my coach did a great job calling plays, putting me in great situations just to get open. And basically just trusting my training. Um, and I was able to do so. You mentioned earlier this week that that one-on-one -on -one training or that one-on-one -on -one, uh, matchup was coming. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you took proper advantage of it? Do you feel like you won that battle? Yeah, definitely. Um, I was able to make the most of any opportunity that I was given. Uh, mi we missed on a couple couple passes, but luckily it's the first game. Uh, we got a lot of time to bounce back and work on those things. Me and Sean are definitely going to get in the lab literally Tuesday. And we're going to watch it Monday, get in the lab Tuesday. We're going to fix those things. and. Hopefully, hit on some big plays this year. Did you guys feel frustration in the first half when things weren't going? Uh, not at all, to be honest with you. When we came in here, uh, the energy was great. Um, like I've been saying this whole time, like this team, like we're, we're so close that like we won't allow ourselves to get down. Like when we, we see someone down, we're picking each other up. Uh, this team is just so close. The camaraderie is crazy on this team. So. It's it's a it's a uh, plus to this team. We got a lot of veterans, a lot of guys who are vocal, um, stepped up in the locker room, just keeping each other in the game. What was um, halftime like? Because you guys were like 50 yards and kind of looked at the rock side. I mean, what was said? How was your situation in that moment? Uh, we, we were kind of beating ourselves a little bit. Uh, that's what Coach, uh, I know Coach Stubbs was preaching to us. We were beating ourselves. We just had to stay in it and make plays. Uh, whenever our number was called, we just had to make plays. And we were able to do so in the second half. Uh, going into halftime, we knew that we, we hadn't played our best football yet. And we were able to come out in the halftime, uh, use some tempo a little bit uh, to help us get a little boost forward. You, you mentioned said back it. at Big Ten Media Days that Coach Yersich has an answer for everything. Yeah, literally. What was the second half? I mean, what, Sean said it gave him a big boost of confidence knowing that you know, you guys were going to take those deep shots, even though the first half wasn't pretty. What did yeah. that mean to you? Oh, uh, that, that's huge to me. Uh, like I said, he's literally a mastermind. Um, he has an answer for every situation we're in. Uh, he said in the locker room that he's got us, and we, we had his back. Uh, we knew he was going to put us in great situations to make plays, and that's what he did. You mentioned that the, the, the tightness of the group allows you guys to stay together. Does that feel different from last year at all? Uh, it feels different from any team I've ever been on in my life. Uh, this team is is ridiculous. <laughs> we're, literally, we're we're so close. It, it's crazy. I, I love all these guys to death. Uh, seeing a guy like Noah Kane over there battle back from going through adversity last year and battle back, picking us up huge in the second half. Uh, he had a great great game. Uh, I was just glad to see him come out and make some plays. Hey John, what can you say about the?